with a tutorial on how to customize your blog. So you're at the educatorisle.com slash Moodle. This is our 6th and 8th grade Moodle. And you click on, over here, Our Science Classes Blog. This is where students blog. And you're going to uh, log into your account. Waiting for it to load. You're going to look for your name. I made a test one for myself, and I call it Test One. So this is the first time I've used uh, this test account. So the blog uh, looks like everybody's does when it's brand new. It's yellow and it's plain. Uh, and look, ooh, I've got two assignments all ready to go. I can click on those and see what the assignment is. But right now I'm interested in customizing it to look a little different. So I'm going to log in. And remember, your login name is whatever it says right here by test1. So I have to type it in just like that. Then put in your password and hit return or enter. I already used to articles. You know that's how you type your new blog. Um, you might be familiar with control panel. Let's click on it and take a look. Let's me do things like give my blog um, a unique heading or title. Now the one for the class that has, you know, we're 6th and 8th grade science classes and what we study, I'm sorry that's on everybody's blog, but that's kind of the class title and heading. And we are Chimicum Eagles, so of course the Eagles on there. Okay, so there's where you type your title, uh, Mr. G's Awesome Bloggy. And about me, I'm a cool science teacher techie dude. Now I'm going to submit the description till Mr. G, you know, that teacher dude, uh, approves it. See? Pending approval. Now, uploading images is a whole different matter. Uh, you got to find a very small thumbnail size image or avatar that you want to put on here. And if you go to the blog, um, you can find instructions on how to do that. So I'm going to show you where to go. I'm going to do a control click and open this in a new tab. See that Alfonso Gonzalez? That goes to the class blog. So by control clicking it, I opened it in a new tab. Now when I go here, I've got it. Gosh, I think it's old. So it must be way back. Let's go to previous entries. I think I did it last year at some point. But it's got some instructions on how to get avatars and put them on your page. I think avatars are great. Uh, and I got a few places where you can find them. Okay, so I went previous page. Still looking. I got some good stuff here. Uh, oh, must be even earlier than that, so I'm going to go back a little farther. Previous, even before that. Uh, here it is. So you go back previous to two, twice, and right here, putting an avatar on your blog, this gives you a link to my list of avatar websites where you can make some great stuff and a couple of uh, links to online uh, image editing websites where you can resize it to make it really small. Then you take the picture, you put it on your desktop, and you go back here to upload it, browse your desktop, and if it works, it won't give you an error message. So that's pretty cool. That's how you uh, get an avatar on there. So an avatar is the very first step. It's very helpful, and you can put whatever you like. But you might have noticed this part here, select templates. If you go to a template and select it, that's what it's going to look like. But most people go through these templates and they go, eh, eh, you know, cool, cool. If you find one you like, super. If you don't find one you like, you got to keep going till you get to template number eight. See how it says edit template colors? This is where you get to design your own blog. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. When it comes up, you got to pick the colors, 
but you got to pick text color and background color. Remember to put light colored text with a dark background and dark colored text with a light background. Here's region A, region B, region C. I'm going to go region A. I want it to be kind of pinkish, so I'm going to make the change. Cool. I'm going to keep the text black because that shows up well. Region B, I'm going to make it this light color. I'm going to keep light colors so my black text shows up fine. And then region C, well, I'm going to pick a light one. Should I make it grayish? This looks kind of gray. I think I'll go with that. All right. So let's say this is what I like. Here's the part where people get confused. I close the window and I'm like, ah, nothing happened. Here's what you need to do. Select it. Voila. Now it's got color. So that's how you colorize it and make it cool. Got one more thing for you. Widgets. Every year, the favorite one is Bunny Hero Labs. Go to bunnyherolabs.com. I don't know if you can read that, but there it is, bunnyherolabs.com. And then click on Cyber Pets. Or you can search. Search Bunny Hero Pets. Ooh, a sloth, a lion cub, a guinea pig. I'm going to, the fox is new. Well, the monkey's my favorite. Monkey is awesome. So you click on it, and then you give it a name. I'm going to call him Boo. Boo. And my name, G man and I'm gonna keep the colors the way they are you know I kind of like it. I don't need anything else so there's boo-boo and g-man now it says where do you want to put it the one you need is other sites we're just gonna get the this kind of code you click on it you copy oh see it says copied you go back here you're gonna go into control panel now this is important if you put it as a blog article it's going to show up for a little bit, but then it's going to go away when you do other articles because your new articles will go on top. Then I'm going to go to here, hit return a couple of times. Then I'm going to do edit, paste, or command V. See how the code is there? You see the code, see the code, see the code, see the code? That's what you want to see. You can put as many widgets as you want. Just paste the code, the whole code. Don't mess with the code. Those are the rules. Submit description, Mr. G will approve it, and you will have a cool monkey, or whatever you want, on your blog. And if you do the avatar down here, you'll have that too, and your blog will look smoking. That's all I have for you today. Signing out is Mr. G.